Good morning. This is Mike with Patriot Pressure and Soft Wash. Out here on a project this beautiful Friday morning. Um, I've done some work for this fellow before. I've done a church and I've done his personal home. And this is their parsonage is what they call it. I really don't know what that means. I haven't Googled it yet. But it's got something to do with their church. I guess it's some, something where people can come and, and stay and get better or something. But anyways, um, so we got a house to get ready. Just a normal house wash. They've got a concrete pad right there on the back of their porch that is super dirty. It's going to be pretty good before and after. Um, then we have this, which is their shed for their bus, a little carport cover. And it's super, super dirty. It stays under these trees. And I don't know how old it is, but <clears throat> I've got to actually get up there with my um, blower and blow off uh, all the debris that's on top before I wash it. I'm gonna do a little experiment today. I'm gonna try to use my 1.8 injector because it, it throws a hot mix. I wanna just see <clears throat> what I can do with that 1.8 to get this stuff off versus pulling my soft wash system. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little messed up today. But we're gonna try to get after this house, get it taken care of, get the pad done on the back here, and then I'll do my little experiment with the 1.8 because I got the 2.1 in now. But this little pad area should come out really nice. These gutters look semi-new, they're dirty, but they look like they've been put on not long ago. And uh, I think that's actually how all this got this bad was water constantly falling on it. And then the shade, you see it's shady now, so. But y'all don't mind working in the shade. So we'll get after it and get some video footage here shortly. make quick work of the house looks pretty good you know brick house is a little easier unless it's really really bad on the bottom which it wasn't horrible but getting ready to start on the oh, well actually I gotta do the pad I'm gonna get a video of doing the pad in just a second but I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this setup is with the iFlow so you now I'm still using it I got my uh, one uh, 2.1 and this is my 1.8 I'm about to slap this girl on here. Just like so. Get down in there. Yep, just like so. One handed operation. You know how it goes. And then I just hook my line back up. Ah, I put the hose clamper on there. So it's really, really nothing to it, you know, when you're, when you're out here working to just change it out it took me all of a minute you know so tighten this hose clamp back down so no air gets bled by we get full-on juice we'll tighten that down and start. Well, we're gonna give this a shot. I got my 800 
C or M or whatever the heck it is. Still blower. Let's go take a look up here and see. They want to clean, which is fine, but there's a lot of debris up on this thing. Let's see how much. Oh yeah. So we got a little debris that needs taken care of. I'm gonna try to blow it off first, see if I can get to it with my blower. It's a pretty powerful blower, but if nothing else, I'll just use the water pressure because this, this probably won't be a little stronger, but well, let's get it after. We're getting there, if you can tell or not. Still got some stuff on there I'm hitting. This is, this is going over it twice with the 1.8, but I mean, it, it does the job for all y'all out there that don't want to really invest in a soft wash system, you can use this 1.8 on an eight gallon a minute and really get your results. You just, you have to spend a little more time. Should I pull the soft wash for this? Probably. But I wanted to do the experiment today and figure out if I can do this on a, like a smaller carport really quick instead of pulling out 200 foot of soft wash hose. But so far so good and I'll get you a finished result here shortly. Right. Got the 2.1 going back on there and put that on there. Got the truck cooling off. It's not that bad right now, but it will be. Let's go take a look at how I did on this. Customers' expectations were just to get the the big stuff off and get it really clean on the side. So I think it come out pretty damn good. Pretty good. All that back there. It was nasty on top. I'm talking nasty. Absolutely nasty. The other side was worse than that side. This stays in the shade all the time. But man, come clean. I just used my 1.8 on an eight gallon a minute. Some of you guys that are running four gallons a minute, I don't really know what to tell you. You're gonna be throwing a hotter mix than a 2.1, but not quite as hot as a 1.8, even though you're running a 1.8 on your four gallon a minute units. Um, just try and experiment. Um, that come out really good. Like I said, I should have pulled my soft wash hose for that, but I wanted to do a little experiment. But if you don't want to invest in 200 foot of soft wash hose, piping it, the manifold. You know, the manifold itself is freaking almost $500 in the pump, which is, that one's a seven gallon a minute, I think. Um, you know, and all the bull crap that goes along with it battery and stuff if y'all are still pulling your units to start you know you don't really need a battery for anything i would recommend building one of these i still haven't done a video i know but i will soon be able to break you down on the bucket idea i have ryobi's this was kind of a pain in the ass um if you've got another brand that slides in like a dewalt or a uh, makita or Milwaukee, all those slide in, then you can mount it to the lid a lot easier. It makes it a lot easier. I got this ghetto little piece right here to hold my battery on. But this thing here has saved me a bunch of time um, just by itself. But I'll do a video on it here pretty soon. I'm gonna get out of here. It's my son's birthday today, so I'm gonna celebrate that with him. Y'all have a good one.